What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. So I managed to play this mode in the first two day release. You know, I wanted to unlock all the attachments for my guns. I wanted to level up some certain guns here and there because I don't want to get into multiplayer and then just get wrecked because I don't have attachments and stuff. So I played zombie first for the first time ever in the whole series. And I was expecting a lot of fun because, you know, I like the Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. It was pretty fun to play because it was an open map. You had a lot of side missions to do. There was a lot of differences in zombies. It was insane. It was crazy. It was difficult. And you can barely survive into the third world. So I liked the Cold War Zombies, even though I hated the multiplayer. So um, jumping into this game of Vanguard, I mean, it was fun the first five rounds because you don't know what to do. You're literally lost, like what is this, you know, what are these portals, what are these, you know, why is the magic box right there, why is this here, you know, you don't know what you're going to expect, right, so it's fun in the first five rounds. So after the fifth round, uh, when you, you when you play out the portals, because it's like around seven portals you have to unlock, and once you unlock them, once you finish all the portals, there's only one portal to play through now, so, uh, and you do that for the rest of the game. So after unlocking all the portals, you can buy uh, more perks, you unlock more perks along the way. And as you can see in the background, you know, the gameplay, I have actually maxed out every single perk in the game. And I'm already like barely going into round 20. So um, the more, the, 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 the most I've ever done, that's actually like round 32. That was back in Black Ops 1 when I was, used to play with my friends. But, um, but yeah, um, after a while, you'll notice the rhythm. You'll notice that every time you jump into the portal, it's just about jumping into the portal, finish the mission, go back to the main world, uh, buy some ammo, and then just repeat and rinse. It's just the same thing over and over again. The difference between this game and Cold War, Cold War, you have to do side missions. You have to do like so many things to proceed and to advance into the map and get ready for the next round. It just becomes more difficult. The thing that I'm doing in this game is that I kind of exploited it. I used the shotgun. Once you get the shotgun and just aim towards the head, it's easy kills all the way through. You can, you can literally play like 30 rounds just with the shotgun, the way I'm playing right now. And the way I'm playing right now in the background, that's, the, that's literally what I did for 7 rounds straight. So at that point, I was like, man, this is boring. <laughs> this is literally boring, man. I don't want to play this game anymore. So um, I would just say, like, I'll just play zombie just to level up some certain weapons and get some special skins. Like, yeah, there's some special camels. Um, you know from zombies that can come from zombies like some of the reticles too they have some color on it and they look pretty good they look pretty decent at least but the thing is the mode is boring it's so bare bones though you know when I saw the Angry Joe show review I'm like yes I would have said the same thing it's bare bones compared to Cold War which came a little bit very fancy with an open world I mean like that's the way you're supposed to make zombies open world but this game just sticks you through the portal goes into a tiny spot of the map and you just kill zombies and that's it nothing special about it there's no easter eggs there's no trigger events there's no bosses i was expecting to be bosses every five rounds because there's these dudes talking to you like on the side and you'll see them this little portrait and they have like a little health bar in the bottom I'm like am i supposed to face this guy like every five rounds am i supposed to kill this guy every 20 rounds 10 rounds i don't know but once i reach the 20th round and nothing happens i'm like Yo, where's my boss, bro? <laughs> where's the special stuff? Where's the little girl talking to me like, oh, they're coming for you or whatever, like back in Black Ops 1. Nothing special, anything, like nothing nothing happens in this game. Nothing special happens. Only the gunner, like you'll see it right now in the background of the game. That's the only special boss there is, but it's a mini boss. I want to see a big boss, man. Back when I played World War II and you play the first map and you go into like some certain rounds, you'll face a big ass monster. And I have that stuff recorded here in my channel. So... Uh, where is any of that? <laughs> so I'm telling you right now, this mode is so casual, so bare bones, it's just not even worth the play. I'll say you have more more fun playing the Black Ops 4 version, Black Ops 3 version. They have a lot more mystery on that, those games compared to what the hell this is, man. I say it's so lazy, it's so lazily done. I think this is like something that a modder would do to kind of just play whatever you know stages they made i don't know <laughs> but it, to be honest like it's not that interesting it's it's fun the first five rounds because you don't know what to do but once you play a good amount of rounds you'll be like okay so all i just need is a shotgun maxed out just aim towards the head and you get a bunch of kills that's it it's boring from there on out like and i know people are going to defend it saying like oh well that's what zombie is every time you play a new round there's nothing special right 
wrong back in black ops 1 you had dogs you have a lot of things to worry about unlocking doors buy weapons from the wall and stuff like that to even pack a punch a weapon you gotta go through the damn you gotta teleport yourself out and in and it was crazy yeah i like that kind of style you go to black ops 2 you had transit where you, where do you find the pack a punch it's pretty difficult right you have to go to certain directions certain places to unlock certain things and you have to trigger some certain easter eggs to even get free perks or stuff like that so it was fun back in the day this thing is so bare bones i can play like world war z right now which is a game that came out like three years ago and it's a lot more fun than this so um i mean if you have fun i'm not gonna judge you for it i think <laughs> Whatever your opinion is, I think I guess go for it. I'm, I'm not gonna stop from playing it. But in my opinion, in my experience, it's boring, and I don't enjoy this at all. I'm hoping that the next future DLCs are a lot better than this, because if they let this go through again, nobody's gonna like zombies, bro. Well, certain people wouldn't like zombies. I don't like zombies right now because it's so bare bones. So. That is it, guys. That's my review about this mode. Uh, what do you guys think? If you guys like it, I guess so. You know, go ahead and play. But I'm not gonna play this mode. I think uh, maybe a few more times just to unlock some certain camels from some, some uh, from some certain guns. But that's about it. You know, that's that's as far as I go. So, anyways, so that is it, guys. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. I fight for freedom.